Welcome back to Better Blogging, everybody. As always, I'm your host, Jared Morris, and we are sponsored by the fine folks over at HostCo and their secure, reliable WordPress hosting. Now, today I want to talk about categories and tags because this is a subject that uh, I get asked a lot of questions about, and for a long time for me, it, the distinction between the two didn't always quite make sense. It wasn't always quite as intuitive. And I think the best way to describe the difference between categories and tags is that categories are the general terms that describe the content of a website and tags are the terms that describe the content of a post. So to give you an example, let's talk about ESPN.com. Now if you look at the navigation bar along the top of ESPN.com, you will see categories, NFL, MLB, NBA, college football, college basketball. If you were to ask the webmaster of ESPN.com, what is ESPN.com about? Those are the terms they would say. Well, we're a website that has information about the NFL, college football, college basketball, professional baseball, National Basketball Association, etc. Okay, so those are categories. Now, tags on the other hand, let's say that you were looking at the NFL page and you look at a story on the Minnesota Vikings New York Jets game. Well, that post will probably be tagged as Minnesota Vikings, New York Jets, Brett Favre, Rex Ryan, Mark Sanchez, okay? Those are the terms that describe that post. Okay, but whereas that Vikings Jets post fits into the overall hierarchy of the NFL, okay, which then fits into the overall hierarchy of, ESP, of ESPN.com, you know, those terms, the tags, Sanchez, Favre, the names, those are specific to that post, okay, and they're a little bit too specific. So if ESPN.com tried to put in their navigation bar all of the terms they have for tags, they wouldn't even have any room for their website. So with the categories, you want to be more general. Pick your overarching themes, overarching ideas. Take CNN.com, for example. Technology, world news, U.S. news, politics, entertainment, sports, etc. Those are the terms that describe the, the, the content overall of the site. And then the tags are going to describe that post. And I'm going to take you to a screencast here in a second and show you where you define those two in WordPress and then also show you why it's important to define your tags because WordPress automatically will populate a tag page that will then take a user to every single post that is tagged uh, with that same term as the tag. And I'm also going to talk to you about the importance of being consistent with the tags. So let's go to the screencast. Okay, so what you see here is DallasSportsFans.com, which is one of the websites that we run. Uh, Matt Lawrence here at the office does a great job running the site. And one of the things that I really like about it is how he has used categories to make navigation of the site very easy. So if you look here in the navigation bar, you see Big 12 football, Cowboys, Fantasy, Mavericks, Rangers, Stars. Now, Matt has a few other categories on this site, as I will show you in a minute. But these are the six that he's showing to users, and that's perfect because that is the majority of his content. And 99.9% .9 of the people coming to this site are interested in one of those six topics. So, and again, to use the example that I used a few minutes ago, if you asked Matt, hey, what's Dallas sports fans about? He would probably say, well, we have information about the Dallas Cowboys, uh, the Mavericks, the Rangers, and the Stars, and we also do a little bit of Big 12 football and fantasy football. And there you go. Those are the six categories. It's simple. It's clean. It's easy to navigate. Okay? Now, let's look at a specific post, and let's take this most recent one here, which is his Cowboys-Titans preview. Uh, which is a game that's coming up this week. Of course, the category for this is going to be Dallas Cowboys. And so if we opened up the Cowboys category into a new tab, this is the first post that we'd see, which I'll show you here in a second when the page loads, as it is now. So there you go. You can see that's the first post, and then you have all the other Cowboys posts on here as well. Now, down at the bottom of this page, you'll see the tags. And again, the tags are the terms that describe this post. So in this post, he talks about Chris Johnson, the Titans running back. He talks about, obviously, the Cowboys. The Titans are the two teams, Des Bryant, Jason Witten. So you see there's names. And a lot of times, any name that's in a post is usually a tag. Places, those are usually um, tags as well. And if you click on this, like let's click on the tag for Des Bryant, you'll see that a tag page is populated that has all the posts for Des Bryant. Now, don't underestimate the importance of this. Not only does it make it easier on your users to navigate, but if you're allowing search engines to index your tag pages, which you should be doing, these can rank in search. And so if you have a strong website and someone searches for information on Des Bryant, a lot of times that tag page will come up because his name, you would assume, is obviously going to be in this content and it's going to be keyword relevant if the posts are tagged with Des Bryant. 
Now, how do you tag a post? Well, let's go back here into the back end, and you can see I have an example post set up. So this is an example post. This is an example of a post so you can see how it would be tagged. Pretend it is about Tony Romo, Jerry Jones, and the Cowboys' new stadium. Okay, pop quiz question number one. What's the category for this post? If you said Cowboys, you would be correct. This post is about the Dallas Cowboys, okay? So we want to categorize it here. Now you're thinking, whoa, look at all these categories. I mean, goodness gracious, there's a lot more categories here than on that front page. And yes, there are. You can always toggle over to most used, which is going to uh, narrow it down a little bit more into the ones that you actually use. And if you want to, you can actually open up the categories page. And if you want to get rid of some of these, you can go in and delete them. So let's say that, like, for instance, you know, Matt has eight uh, posts here in golf. He could delete that category if he wanted to and put it into something else. He's keeping it, which is fine. He's just not showing it to the users on the front end, and that's perfectly okay. So it's up to you, but you have control. You can add categories, delete them, redefine them, rename them. You can do whatever you want. The key is what are you showing to users there on the front end, okay? And that's what Matt's done a great job of. Let's go back to this post. So we have Cowboys. Check there is our category. And what about the tags? Well, again, we want the terms that describe this post. So it says, pretend it's about Tony Romo, Jerry Jones, and the Cowboys' new stadium. Well, that's what we'll pretend it's about. Tony Romo, let's add that tag. Jerry Jones, let's add that tag. And then Cowboys' new stadium, you know, hmm, I wonder how he tags that. It's very important to be consistent. So you wouldn't want to have Cowboys' new stadium and then also tag it as Jerry World and do it on, that's another name for the stadium, and do it on two different posts, because now if someone clicks on that tag, they're not going to get all the posts for that tag, which is what they want. So you want to be consistent. So let's say, you know, we can put in Cowboys, and let's see what the tags are that include the name Cowboys. And there we go, Cowboys Stadium. So he's obviously tagging posts about the Cowboys Stadium as Cowboys Stadium. And now we have this categorized, we have it tagged, and so we can save the draft. I don't want to publish this out to the site and tick Matt off. But then if we go preview the post, just as before, you're going to see down here at the bottom, there's your category, there are your tags, you're all set and ready to go. Now, once again, if we click on the tag for Cowboys Stadium, this is going to show us all the posts about the Cowboys Stadium. It's just not showing us that one yet, obviously, because it isn't posted. All right, well, that has been our discussion on categories and tags. Thanks again for joining us here on Better Blogging, and we will be back next week with another episode. <laughs>